everyone deserves a little bit of love. And what's the best way to get to someone's heart? Well, through the stomach, by way of their sweet tooth, of course. There are lots of shops that are taking sweets to a whole new level, like Anna Grazer at Anna Chocolate in downtown Exeter, where you can witness the bean to bar goodness in action. We were in Epe last year, 2020, during the pandemic, we actually made the move to a larger space in Exeter. Anna says focusing on the flavor of the chocolate can stimulate a deep sensory experience that will wake up your mind and your heart. Our chocolate is special in that it is made in small batches to really emphasize the terroir, the flavor notes, the, gen the genetics that all contribute to the flavor of the chocolate. It also comes with really beautiful and interesting stories of the producers, which you just can't get with commodity world chocolate. For Valentine's Day this year, Anna has lots of bars that are good for sharing, including a fan favorite. People will be happy to see this is coming back. We haven't had it for a while. Love notes. This is a dark milk chocolate. Milk chocolate is traditionally a lower percentage of cacao and a higher percentage of sugar and milk. This one has a high percentage of cacao, so it's sort of the best of both worlds. In this chocolate maker's opinion, you can never go wrong when you give someone good chocolate. It's a perfect gift for giving to someone who you care deeply for, whether it's a Valentine or a parent or a best friend. Uh, it, it just somehow touches our, our heart in a, in a special way because of that intense flavor. Samantha Brown and her team at La Cascade du Chocolat in Exeter and Portsmouth are hard at work making chocolate that not only tastes great, but looks almost too good to eat. We try to make everything visually beautiful. So that's the first thing. And then um, it should be, it should have a crisp shell or it should be uh, very shiny, um, you know, before you even get into tasting it. And then the flavors should be very, very um, beautiful together. They should really uh, melt together. A one-two punch, these chocolates are sure to lift spirits. We've been getting a lot of um, shipping orders and pickup orders, and we've actually done a little bit of local delivery um, just to do that for people to say, hey, I'm thinking about you and we're all in it together and things will look up soon, we hope. <laughs> the crew has been working long hours preparing for the February rush and have lots of fun new creations. So we have a wide range of chocolates this year from uh, beautiful put together bonbon boxes um, to uh, hippos with little hearts. Um, and we've got um, hot cocoa for two. We've got all different kinds of things. Samantha says she doesn't mind painting a million little chocolate hearts. She loves knowing her chocolate will make someone smile. I really love the idea that something I make makes someone else's day. That is, that is really what um, I find to be so special about this. Not a chocolate lover? No worries, some delicious caramel is being packaged up in Nashua by Tammy Fahey of Sue's Caramel, ready to ship out to lovers around the world. I think they're just really the purest ingredients. We don't have any additives or preservatives, so they're truly what caramel should taste like. Tammy started the business 10 years ago and has had loyal customers spreading the word ever since. Our caramels are definitely buttery and um, rich and you don't need a lot. That's why we tell people, you know, cut off a piece, enjoy it, indulge. Um, usually they can't stop at just one, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Inspired by her German roots, the caramel is cooked slowly and gently, never with preservatives. And the labor intensive part really becomes in the packaging because then we wrap it in parchment, we put it in the box, we wrap it in parchment again, and then it gets a beautiful sleeve over it. So it's a labor of love. Seuss caramels can be found in stores around New England and ordered online to be shipped around the globe. Tammy says her customer's feedback makes it all worth it. People say, I, I'm totally addicted. You know, why did you do this to me? Um, to, you know, this truly is, the best caramel, or this reminds me of something my grandmother used to make. 
good news for those in the Upper Valley, a Vermont candy company has hopped the border and opened a shop in Hanover. Red Kite Candy is a family affair that uses tried and true recipes to cook up confections that keep people coming back for more. Well, it started about 10 years ago when my wife um, started selling candies at the Thetford Hill Farmer's Market. She'd been making candies for many years for her family and friends at Christmas. And so it was just kind of a natural that she uh, decided to do that. She had cancer and kind of came out of it thinking that this is something I really love to do. Mike joined his wife in the kitchen and the business began to take off. So we're most known for our caramels. and We make about half a dozen different flavors of those, some seasonal. Um, we also make toffee and nougat, which is the French uh, confection that uh, uh, not, isn't so well known here, but uh, is loved elsewhere. The sweet that has really knocked people off their feet? Sea salt caramels. Yeah, um, that's always been our best seller. And people just love it. It's not, it's not a real salty caramel. It just gives you a little bit right at the end. And people love that sweet, salty. It's got sweet, salt, and fat in it, the three major food groups, right? Mike says he and his family put a lot of care into their products, making them the perfect gift to give someone to tell them you're thinking of them. We just think that um, we put a lot of care into it. And so when you give Red Kite, it feels very thoughtful.